Hey guys, this is Malinki. Welcome back to my channel, Voice of Malinki. Today we will talk about ecosystem. And if you are new in my channel, please subscribe my channel. And if you like my video, please do like, comment and share my video. An ecosystem is a functional unit of nature where living organisms interact among themselves and also with the surrounding physical environment. Physical environment means uh, sunlight, soil, temperature, humidity, turbidity, etc. These are some abiotic factors or physical environment. Ecosystem varies greatly in size from a small pond to a large forest or sea. The term ecosystem was first coined by A. G. Tansley. He was an English botanist in 1935. There are two types of ecosystem such as terrestrial ecosystem and aquatic ecosystem. Okay, so what is terrestrial ecosystem? Terrestrial ecosystem is a land-based ecosystem. There are different types of terrestrial ecosystems such as forest ecosystem, grassland ecosystem and desert ecosystem. Forest ecosystem. Forest ecosystems are mainly dominated by trees and consist of plants, animals and microbes that live in coordination with the abiotic factors of the environment. Next is grassland ecosystem. So a grassland ecosystem is mainly dominated by grasses and herbs. Next is desert ecosystem. So the main characteristics of desert ecosystem are a uh, shortage of or complete lack of precipitation you will not get plenty of rainfall in desert and uh, extremes of temperature like extreme cold or extreme hot and very little plant growth the desert ecosystem consists of species who are able to live in these inhospitable conditions Next is aquatic ecosystem. Aquatic ecosystem consists of different types of water bodies. An aquatic ecosystem is mainly of two types, freshwater ecosystem and marine ecosystem. Okay, so freshwater ecosystem. The freshwater ecosystem, it includes ponds, lakes, streams, rivers and wetlands. Unlike marine water, fresh water does not contain high salt concentration. Next is marine ecosystem. The marine ecosystem includes oceans. It has high salt concentration and great biodiversity in comparison to the freshwater ecosystem. You will get lots of animals, lots of plants in marine ecosystem. Let's talk about structure of ecosystem. The components or structure of ecosystem are of two types, biotic component and abiotic component. So biotic component. So all living organisms of an ecosystem make up the biotic component. Biotic components are mainly of three types such as producers, consumers and decomposers based on nutrition. Producers, the green plants in the ecosystem are called producers. They are also called autotrophs since they can make their own food by the process of photosynthesis. Consumers. 
all animals rely on plants directly or indirectly for their food. They are called consumers or heterotrophs. Consumers are of three types. Primary consumers, secondary consumers and tertiary consumers. Primary consumers are always herbivores, right? Because they feed on plants. Secondary consumers depend on primary consumers for food. They can either be a carnivore or omnivore. Tertiary consumers depend on secondary consumers for food. They can either be a carnivore or omnivore. Quaternary consumers are not always present. They are sometimes present and they depend on tertiary consumers for food. They don't have any natural predators. Next is decomposers. So decomposers thrive on dead and decaying organic matters. They are beneficial for the ecosystem since they help in recycling nutrients. Saprophytes such as fungi and bacteria are examples of decomposers. So these are all the biotic factors or biotic components of the ecosystem. Now what are the abiotic components of the ecosystem? So the non-living components of an ecosystem are called abiotic components. They include air, temperature, wind, humidity, turbidity, sunlight, water, soil, minerals, nutrients, altitude, etc. Now let's talk about the function of ecosystem. So ecosystem is responsible for mineral cycling. It is also responsible for nutrient recycling. It maintains the balance between different trophic levels. Trophic levels means like producers are the plants, then we have the consumers who consume plants, then we have the decomposers who break down dead plants and animals bodies. So there is the balance between these different types of organisms. They are called trophic levels. It supports the living organisms to survive. And it also helps in energy flow from one organism to other organism. And the energy captured from the sun flows from the producers and then to consumers and then to decomposers and finally back to the environment. 